what is going on guys in last video we have successfully created the checkout page where we have all the details like deliver address subtotal tax discount total amount in this video we'll integrate the payment system so that whenever user click on pay now it will go to payment page and user can pay from various options like debit card credit card wallet net banking pay later so let's get started with the video so let's first add pay button over here so for that what i will do i will go back to the project in the checkout page after this amount whatever we have over here i will add one spacer around 16 dp and then below this i will create a button so same button we can use from cart page this button let's copy this entirely and paste it over here navigation let's remove for now and write here pay now if i rerun you can see pay now button so this should initiate the payment so how to integrate the payment system there are different options available you can use paypal you can use stripe you can use razor pay for this video we will use razor pay implementation for all the options will be same we'll use razor pay so let's go to razor pay so razor pay you can see over here we have razor pay.com here we have to create an account because we are accepting the payments from the customers we have to create an account we have to do the kyc we have to give our basic details and then we are ready to go so what we have to do you have to click on sign up over here and then you can start you can continue with google also or you can give your email or phone number and you will give all your details and then it will be created so i have already created so i will do login so once you have done everything you will be in this dashboard and you can see over here we have test mode and live mode so if you are testing your application we will use test mode and once our app is live we can use live mode so for now we will use test mode click on that so how to connect our application with razor pay so to connect our application we need api key so the api key we will get from this dashboard you can go over here to account setting and then below you can see we have this api keys click on that so here i have already generated the api key i can copy this or if you have not generated you can click on generate and you can see over here regenerate test key so this key is required to connect our android application to the razor pay that's it so what we will do we will copy this for now and we will go to app util and here we will create a function named as razor pay api key let's return this as a string this is my test api key and here i will use string as a return so we'll use this api key so you might have different api key or you can generate that's it now we have to implement the library so what library we have to implement we you can go to google and search you can search for razor pay android dependency so you can find it on github this is the dependency so i already have the dependency we will use 1.6.33 so let's copy this from here go go to build.gradle and paste it i will provide it in the description also here it will be like this double comma and we'll use 3.3 version sync now so it will download the code so it is synced our code is downloaded you can close now everything now we can start integration so you can see over here we have pay now button and in that button we have on click method so what we will do we'll we'll create a method in app util so let's go to app util here what we will do we'll create a method start payment and it will take the amount whatever we are paying so, so it will be float now here we will write the code to start the payment so first thing we require is if you go to razor pay android documentation you can see the sample app over here and you can see the code how to integrate so here we have to create the variable checkout and then api key and then we can do the things so i will do the simple thing over here let's create a variable checkout so value checkout equals to checkout you can see over here this should be imported from com.reserve since we have added the library now checkout dot you see set so it is not auto suggesting you can see over here in the checkout we have some function set public key set key id let's copy this key id so key id we have to pass first thing is key id so what will be the key id that is this so let's copy this method over here it will get the key id and assign it to checkout now we have to pass some details to the razor pay as a json object so for that i will use options as a equals to json object i'll initialize this and we have to pass some keys and values so what will be the key first thing is name so so it will be the app name let's say easy shop second value is description you can check it in the documentation what are the required values so options dot put now another required value is amount so you have to pass the amount what amount you want to pay through the card right now you can see over here we are passing the amount from cart page let's say we have in the cart one item check out you can see 256 dollar but to the razor pay we have to pass in cent not the dollar if we have one dollar that means we have to pass 100 if we have two dollar that means we have to pass 200 so we have to multiply the amount by 100 so here what we'll do amount into 100 we have to pass 
now one more thing we have to pass is currency so what will be the currency for the amount so this is the us dollar so we will pass usd that's it these values we have to pass to the activity of razor pay it will do the rest of the things so what we will do check out dot open we have a function open here we have to pass two things one is our current activity and the json object so for current activity i will use global navigation dot nav controller dot context to get the context as activity and then second variable will be json object that's it it will create the checkout variable it will add the options and it will open the activity that activity will do the rest of things so this method we have created in app utils we have to call it from checkout page where we have this pay now button so here app util dot start payment we have to pass the amount what will be the amount amount is the total amount so let's say total dot value that's it now it will start the payment if i run now go to cart click on checkout now if we click on pay now it will start the payment process in a different activity that is provided by razor pay if i click now pay now you can see over here it is asking for the payment option first it will ask for the contact information if it asks for contact detail you can write your name email phone number and then it will ask for payment option whatever the payment option are available so for usd there is only card payment option available if you write different currency it will have different options let's click on cards so you have to give a card number over here you can give your own credit card details for the test environment we have some test credit card so what you can use is for 11111 15 times 1 and then any future date let's say 1229 and then any cvv let's say 123 and then any random name random name let's say so i have provided the test card this so this test card will work for the razor pay it will show as success if you click on continue so you can save or secure my card or maybe later let's click on maybe later sending otp it will send the otp if it is a real card but for now we will write one two three four five six it is a test card click on continue processing confirming and then you can see payment is successful we will be redirect to our own activity so we are just starting the payment if you go over here in the reserve pay dashboard transactions if you select today you can see over here it, it is created on current time and we have 256.47 dollar and payment id also it is there so this is so this is how it will show the transaction in the razor pay whenever it will success it will so if you do inr over here if it is indian currency you can see if i run now go to cart check out pay now you can see we have lots of options now net banking we have different banks over here all the banks are listed you can use anything you can use wallet any wallet and you can use pay later so whatever you want to use you can use it in that way it will work so either it will be success or it will be failure so how we will get to know in the application either it is success or not if you exit you can see here error probably it is not implemented so we should know either it is success or not if it is success we have to clear the card we have to add it in the orders if it is not success we have to show a message so that's it so those two things we have to implement in our application so how we can implement that you can see the documentation but here i will show you we have to go to our activity that is main activity this is our single activity application so we have main activity over here what we have to do is so here we are inheriting main activity from this so also we'll implement another listener that will be payment result listener you can see over here com dot result pay payment result listener so here it will show the error because we have to implement two methods click on implement member you can see payment success payment error click on ok now we have two methods so whenever payment is success it will call this method as a callback function and whenever there is error it will call this method so here what we can do for the error we can show the toast app util dot show toast context we can write payment failed that's it and on the success we can write payment success here we can do anything here we can clear the card we can add to the orders whatever you want to do after payment is success here whatever you can do after payment is failed so let's run now either we are getting the listener correctly go to checkout pay now let's add a card correct card four to five to three whatever the name click on continue maybe later otp click on continue So you can see payment is successful redirecting and you can see payment success so this method is called so we can use this method to implement what will happen after payment so for the payment failure also let's see so here what we can do we can use the wrong card or we can just exit from here exit you can see payment failed 
that means it is not success it will be only called when it is success it will be called whenever there is failure or any error so whenever there is success it will call this we can implement this so this is how we can integrate the razor pay if you go and see the documentation there are lots of things you can use currency sms rotation whatever it is email contact prefill there are lots of things you can do you can see the documentation over here you can see the full documentation over here but for the minimum setup these things are required so whenever we click on pay now it will pay and then it will call the listener so that's all for this video so in next video what we will do whenever the payment is success we will clear all the items from the card because it is already ordered and we will put those items in the orders so we will create orders in the fire store and then we will put all the items in that orders so that's all for this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye